Howdy y'all! I'm Military Martha and it's that time of year again. It's time to talk turkey. Now I know what y'all are gonna say. You're gonna say, Military Martha, I don't know nothing about baking no turkeys. Well, let me tell you, it's as easy as one, two, three. Look at that! <laughs> I swear to y'all, the steps are so easy to make in a turkey that you can't fail. Well, you can, but hopefully with these three easy steps, you'll be able to make a Thanksgiving feast that your whole family will love. The first step to making the perfect Thanksgiving turkey, y'all, is to pick the kind of turkey you're gonna make. The first choice is a wild turkey. No, not that kind. Although, if this is your very first Thanksgiving with the in-laws, it might not be a bad choice. <laughs> no, y'all. I'm talking about a wild turkey, the kind you go into the woods, hunt, kill, and dress yourself. Now, if this is your very first time making a Thanksgiving turkey, this might not be the best choice. Dressing a wild turkey takes time and a certain set of skills even Liam Neeson might not have, bless his heart. And wild turkey has a very strong flavor. Most people describe it as gamey. So another choice is an organic, free-range, locally sourced hippie turkey. These turkeys live a happy life on a local farm, and if you ask the farmer, they'll most likely dress the turkey for you. Organic turkeys don't have the gamey flavor of a wild turkey, but are still full of great flavor. Organic turkeys are a little more expensive, and around the holidays might be difficult to find. Some stores sell organic turkeys, but unless it's labeled certified organic, there ain't no guarantee it was grown humanely. Now, if this is your very first turkey, y'all, the very first turkey you've ever made, I always say can't go wrong with a butterball. You can find these turkeys in the frozen foods or in the meat section of your local grocery store. This is the turkey I'll be showing y'all how to make. Now because it's commercially grown, it don't have as much flavor as a wild turkey or an organic turkey, but with a little help, it's just as tasty. So here's the rule y'all, if you're buying a turkey, you need to plan for at least one to two pounds per person. So for example, if you're feeding 10 people, you want a 10 to 20 pound turkey. If you want a lot of leftovers, you get the bigger turkey. Now the next thing we need to talk about y'all is how to dress the turkey. Um, no, although very stylish, that's not what I'm talking about. Y'all, dressing a turkey means preparing it for cooking. Now I like to gather all my ingredients, the turkey, chicken broth, two sticks of softened butter, spices, and a roasting pan. The first thing y'all need to do is defrost the turkey if it's frozen. You can do this by leaving it in the fridge, but that takes 24 hours for every four pounds of turkey. Or you can quick thaw it in a bath of cold water, allowing 30 minutes per pound. Never ever cook a frozen turkey, y'all, because cooking times are for a thawed turkey. And if you follow it, well, then you're gonna come up with a raw turkey for Thanksgiving. The second thing y'all have to do is remove the gizzards. Now, the gizzards are the heart, the liver, the neck, and other internal organs, usually found in a bag inside the neck or the butt of the turkey. After removing the gizzards, y'all need to rinse the turkey in cold water, really clean it off good, then pat it dry, being sure to get into every crevice, you don't want any water in there. Then you take your softened butter and slather it all over your turkey. I like to put a few pats of butter under the skin near the breast meat, it keeps it from drying out. If y'all don't want to use butter, margarine or cooking spray works too. And another trick to keep the breast meat moist is to roast the turkey breast side down so all the juices flow into the breast meat while it's cooking. Once you have your turkey buttered up, I tuck the wings under and put the legs in the flap of the skin to keep them all trussed up. You can do this with string too if you like. Once the turkey is all dressed, I put in enough chicken broth to cover the bottom of the roasting pan then cover it with a lid. The chicken broth will mix with the turkey juices and make for a nice gravy later. And if y'all don't have a roasting pan with a lid, a tinfoil tent works just as well. The last and final step is cooking the turkey. This is where time management plays a role, y'all. You have to keep in mind that most of us only have one oven. So if you know your turkey is gonna take four hours to cook, well, the sides and desserts will have to be cooked before or after your turkey. So be sure to know how long your oven will be tied up for. You don't want to serve a cold turkey and warm sides to guests expecting to eat at three and it's going on six o'clock. Other than time management, cooking your turkey is easy enough. You want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees or hotter, depending on your oven. If you're putting your stuffing in the turkey while it's cooking, that will take longer to cook the turkey, so be aware of that. I cook this turkey for three hours, unstuffed. 
In the last half hour, I took the lid off the turkey to let the skin get that nice golden brown color. During the cooking time, I checked on it every half hour or so, being sure to baste it with its own juices to keep it nice and moist. A turkey is fully cooked with inserting a meat thermometer into the breast will read 170 degrees or into the thigh that will read 180 degrees. Once you take it out of the oven, I like to keep it covered for about 15 minutes before serving. Just let it rest for a few, because y'all don't want your turkey carver to burn their hands on a fresh from the oven turkey, now do ya? And that's it, y'all. Three easy steps to make the perfect Thanksgiving turkey, just like this one. Mmm, that just smells good enough to eat, doesn't it? So from the Martha household to yours, from the Homefront and United Network to all of you out there, we'd like to wish you a blessed and happy Thanksgiving. May all your eats be good and your journeys be safe, y'all. And happy Thanksgiving! I think I'll have a little bit of this right here. Mmm. 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 That's good. Nobody else wanted the drumstick, did they? Mmm. Mm. Well, it's too late now. Mmm. 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 That's some good turkey, y'all.